Good morning students and welcome back to the English class. As you all know, my dear children, uh, we have been uh, completing with our grammar work and we did do common nouns, proper nouns, preposition, also a part of rhyming words in our concept test. So I hope you are ready to do a little bit of reading today along with the worksheet which is given for the day. This is from your grammar book page number 5656. We had earlier done till page number 55. As you can see we have completed adjective. I hope you have done this in your uh, book and practice the adjectives because they will be asked in the next concept test. Write today's date which is 27.1.2020. And we will read, there's a poem. We are going to read it together so that our reading practice is little better. We are only doing the reading of the poem bit. Okay. Kit learns a lesson. Now what is a kit? A kit is a short form for the word kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. Now a mother cat's small baby cat or a young one is called a kit. Kit learns a lesson. So maybe the kit is going to learn a new thing about life. Let's see. Old mother cat, when she wanted to eat, would hunt in the house for piece of meat. Underline the word eat. Actually circle it now. Eat and meat. So what does the poem say? Old mother cat, when she wanted to eat, would hunt in the house for pieces of meat. So uh, dogs, cats, they all like to chew on meat, okay, on non-vegetarian food. And when the cat would get hungry, she would look out for meat pieces in the house. What I have made you underline eat and meat again are rhyming words they are rhyming words c a t at a t at same family words are called rhyming words only the first syllable or the first letter changes everything else remains the same cat had a kitten who was black and white he hunted with mum all day and all night Again, circle white and night. Rhyming words. So the cat had small kittens and who was black of the color black and white. He hunted with mum. Of course, cat being the mum. They were hunting day and night for food. So white and night is rhyming word. Now don't leave the house. It's the place to stay. Or you'll be sorry, she often would say, stay, say. Now, being a mother, your mummy also keeps on telling you, do not leave the house without informing me. Tell me where you're going. Tell me when you're coming from. So now, don't leave the house. The mother cat is saying, don't leave the house. It's the place to stay. You have to stay inside the house. Or you'll be sorry, she often would say, stay and say are rhyming words. One day, Kit went out. Yes, outside the house. And came face to face with a great big mouse. Again, circle house and mouse. Rhyming words. So the Kit did not listen to mommy and daddy like we do sometimes and we find ourselves in trouble we should not do it went out side the house and it came face to face with a big mouse now the kitten is always small baby the mouse bit poor kit the kitten jumped high they fell with a bump and started to cry your high and cry are not the rhyming words just informing you they are not rhyming words they are not same family word now because the mouse was bigger than the kitten 
it quickly bit the kitten the baby now the kitten jumped because it got scared he ran into mum that frightened kitten crying and squeaking look i've been bitten kitten bitten bitten means that kisi ne aapko kaat liya hai okay so the kitten went to mum saying mum some you know what the mouse has bitten me i have told you before said mum with a glare life is the wide world life in the wide world is not always fair again not very rhyming words so the mum said that only when you think everything around your mummy is fine that does not mean in the world also it is fine life is not always very fine so please be careful just don't go around strolling because you might find yourself into trouble so this is the poem you have to read at home we will quickly do the worksheet which is given for the day uh write today's date is mentioned uh, your section e your full name rearrange the letters with the help of the given pictures so there's a picture given and you have to rearrange remember the word had come same way so this is b a t you can even write b like this or like this bat bat what is this o x f f o x s what's the word fox what is this animal it's a deer t double e r deer right next here bear if you know the picture you don't really need to look at the word bear and this one kangaroo is it no horse h o r s e horse if you know the spellings of the words you will find no problem in writing this properly okay we now move to the next thing unscramble the words to make meaningful words with the help of the given clues again i'm scrambling it is a place where we go to buy things so picture is not given but a riddle is given you have to solve where do we buy things s h o p shop it gives us heat and light during the day s u n sun okay unscramble the word match the word to the correct picture what is this word think thing b o y boy where is boy match it to boy cow c o w easy words for us because we have been doing it from kg1 what is this spoon s p double o n spoon and last is table t a b l e i uh, drew the line first because it is always easier to do the matching this way okay this is how complete the worksheet do the jumble word practice will help you for your concept test as well i will see you back in the online class please start preparing i will be taking your reading practice see you till then stay safe